Inflation claims another victim and is putting your weekend celebrations in jeopardy. Now buying a pint or a six pack to relax after a long day will cost you more than it did a year ago. On the other side, breweries are also facing price hikes for raw materials. Nuisa's Brewing co-owner Kale Moore tells us he's felt the overall increase. That's malt right there that's stacked up, so that'll all get brewed next week. Moore says he used to pay $35 for a bag of malt, a key ingredient to make beer. Now he pays $45 a bag. Moore also has to pay extra in shipping to get goods here from Germany. Uh, so if you had a lot of product, you had to put it in a shipping container, you'd pay $9,000 to ship it. It's now uh, about $16,000. The challenges to keep business going doesn't end there. Cans have jumped, and not only that, the lead times are much longer now. So you're looking at six to eight weeks, uh, which makes it very hard because you're going to have to carry a large inventory. And can companies, uh, you have to pay everything up front. So you've got to float that cost. Paying out of pocket to keep their business afloat, and that's in addition to fuel charges for deliveries across the coastal bend. Moore says he was forced to make menu price adjustments during the summer. What was once a $5 beer is probably a $5.50. Beer. Rowley Hutton has noticed the couple of cents more he's paying. But we have noticed, and so it really does change the way that I order off the menu. Moore tells us he knows customers are worried about the cost of living, and with business slowing down in the fall, he manages what he can when it comes to prices. So we just have to be careful of uh, how much inventory we're carrying and uh, watch what we spend. Part of Moore's business plan is hosting events like Oktoberfest. He says it's a good time for local businesses to bring in customers and showcase their craft beer they brew in-house. We have details to this event on KZTV10.com. For Action 10 News, I'm Victoria Valderrama.